Thanks for staying with us. Three students of the Federal Government College Ijaniki have been placed on indefinite suspension because their parents took the Parent Teachers Association PTA of the school to the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC. Join us on the show are the parents of suspected students and the PTA, suspended students actually, and the PTA chairman of the school. Um, you can join the conversation a bit later on 081-0764-1679-0902416340. You can also tweet to us at TVC Connect, please hashtag YourViewTVC so we can read your tweets. Joining us on, in the studio right now is one of the parents of which we have, have two others waiting, but uh, we're going to have, we have with us Mrs. Falilaz Olushogbon. Welcome to the show, madam. Good morning. Good morning. Good to have you. <laughs> so the story we got, the report we have is that your child was suspended by the school because um, the PTA was taken to, was reported to the EFCC. Yes, yes. Could you give us an idea, the origin of the general, how this started in the first place? Yeah. Good morning, everyone. Um, it started um, 2022 when we had um, the annual general meeting and they presented the financial report to us. Um, well, we got there, we saw lots of discrepancies, which I raised with other parents. And um, at that point, there was no response. The principal, who is the representative of the uh, Ministry of Education, was present, and others were there. But each time we asked the question, they, they, they were not giving us the answer. We saw something like the salary increase of um, like 23 million and the... Um, PTA chairman claimed there was no um, um, recruitment that year. So the drastic increase from the previous one that we saw, 18 million, which was 2021, and now we are seeing 42 million. What's that? You bought, they bought a bus, 7.4 million, without any approval from the house. Mm. Lots of things like that we saw, um, sitting allowance of close to 1 million plus. Who had the people sitting and collecting this money. Wow. When our children are there, they are having some lapses somewhere. Yet, on resumption day, they requested us to prepare a fee of 500 naira per head. Whereas in the PTA a financial report, it is stated per fee, which was a, 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 a motivational fee agreed by we parents for teachers. Yet, they still collect on resumption day 500 naira Things like that we saw, even in the financial report, I saw, we saw sport fee expenses, they made close to a million plus, yet on resumption day we pay 500 naira per head, yet and in the uh, school bill there is a 1,000 naira per child every term for sports. So we are like, why all these um, duplications of um, funds? When we have other things, we can even, the PTA is set aside for um, support, but if we are spending this much on this area, how are we going to take care of our children? Those were the questions we raised. The account was, we parents raised alarm with saying they don't want to adopt the account that day. Well, before you know it, a parent stood up, adopted it. Mm -hmm. Okay, we went back to the house, we uh, raised the question, we brought out all the uh, questions in the platform. I, we alighted everything, myself and some other parents. Before you know it, they deleted all the messages. We were removed from the platform. Wow. Totally. They removed all of that was us. three of you? Most, we were like um, 10. Okay. We were like 10. We started this, but you know, as time goes on, yeah. we're still giving we up. Get to exactly. Some were getting pressure, you understand. But at least this, we are now four, not even three. We have four now. One of us, the child passed out last year. Mm. Luckily. Yes. Mm -hmm. Luckily. Luckily, then the other, the other three, we, we are still here. Mm. One of them is still at home. Last section, the boy was unable to get his, um, because first they blocked all our portals, the children portals, we were unable to generate um, bills. We were unable to even see their profession, uh, their promotional results. Mm -hmm. And before that years, the, that time ends, that was their SS to my son, and the other one that was in SS1. We were called to come and remove our children from school till EFCC matter is over. We were like, when, when, when did it get to EFCC? Because you told us... Uh, yeah, uh, well, okay, sorry. When we were uh, dragging this thing and we were removed from the platform, the 
principal was there, who is representing the FME. She said nothing about it. We kept asking questions. This matter will go beyond the way you want it if you are not giving us answer because this is a public fund. Yes. It's a public fund. But the, so the PTA chairman said it, we can go to hell, do whatever we like. The PTA wow. chairman. Yes, he said so. Mm -hmm. So that was it since we are told to go to hell, do whatever we like, so we have to do whatever. So any... it took you, would you say, three months before you got to EFC? No, it, to it took us like, say, <laughs> let's say four, four months. Okay. okay, so why the EFCC? I understand it's financial misappropriation, yeah. but the um, federal FGC, Janiki, is under the federal ministry. Yeah. This college had such drama in the past, and it was the minister for education that was overseeing those issues. So why not the federal ministry of education? We wrote to the federal ministry of education. We made some calls, but we're not getting any response. Even at that point when we went to EFCC, thinking at least that's when we're shaking them, she understands, so you don't do something. But they were in, so we had to. We've been writing letters to the Ministry of Education, but they. We, nothing, we has were, nothing has happened. Nothing has happened. the new minister. Nothing has happened. Even when the new minister came on board, two weeks after he resumed office, he did another letter. That was after the case was at the EFCC. We still made an effort for the new minister to know what is happening, that they should just come to our head and. Sorry, I need to understand. Oh, how long has your children been suspended? Since 2022 or this no, last, no. just last year? The, the portal was blocked in 2023. The total time result up to now, we have not seen it. Their promotional and exam. That was last year. That was last year. Mm -hmm. Because we were called to come and remove them from the exam class. And we're like, no. There is a voice note mm -hmm. to that. And we're like, we have to. I said, sorry, if you disturb my child emotionally, in that promotional exam, I'm going to sue all of you in that. Fees school. were paid for these children? Yes. yes. Complete. We paid. Okay. But okay. unfortunately, um, after that, uh, one, uh, when the promotional, when they resumed, that was uh, September. Mm. One of them could not resume up till now because his butter is, his butter is blocked, okay. that he can't assess his um, promotional exam to even, even go and enroll in another school. No, without that, you can't move right. mm -hmm. ahead. Mm -hmm. So we've been writing letters. We, when the new principal even came in on board, we quickly wrote a letter to let him know that this is the situation on ground. We would like to have our uh, results. Uh, results, and the portal should be unblocked. It's so why can't the school okay, let, me, let, let me pause you for a second, because I would like to bring in the PTA chair. So we have with us also in the studio um, the PTA chairman, Comrade Shola Tukede. He's... Um, we, we tried to also get the principal, Dr. Kendi, to be part of this discussion, but unfortunately, um, the person didn't, the, uh, didn't show up. Uh, Dr. Kendi is a female or male? Uh, male. Male. So he didn't show up. But we have here with us in the studio, um, Comrade Shola the PTA chairman. Welcome to the show, sir. Thank you, my, uh, Morayo. Yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. So the MTC was supposed to be for Dr. Kendi, but he couldn't show up. But we'll have to just talk to the PTA. So here are some allegations that have been made so far. You've heard... Mrs. Olushogbon um, speaking earlier, and um, she made some really grievous allegations against the PTA. So could you give us your own version of what happened? Of what happened? Yes. <clears throat> the principal sent his apologies. He couldn't come because of the fact that he's a civil servant. And he did, as a civil servant in the ministry, he needs the permission of his permanent secretary before he could do such interviews. OK. So that was what happened. Uh, well. I give God the glory for a day like this. Mm -hmm. I came here not to be talking about EFCC case or suspension per se, because I don't manage the school. I just happened to be a parent just like every other person. Okay. And I was privileged to be elected to be the PTA chairman. Of course, my responsibilities are to ensure that we support the school in all ramifications, whatever we could do, to try and bridge the gaps where the ministry couldn't, because we know the paucity of funds and everything here and there. So to collaborate with the school and assist them wherever there are lapses. We have been doing that since we came into office in November 2021. We came into office. The genesis was very funny. The fact of the case is, I have the document here, after the election in October, October 31st, 2021, I won as the chairman. I contested with the one person. I won as the chairman with only one vote. The votes were counted four or five times, and it was a certain that I actually won that election. And the man embraced me. Mr. Shogbon sitting here, I wanted to contest as chairman too. But because the guideline was against her, only parents, biological parents of students in GSS classes are eligible to contest 
was it three years tenure. So when she saw that her child was in SS1, she went to rent another child, claiming that that's her child, not knowing that the school have records of all the students in the files. So the electoral committee, they now brought out the file and saw that uh, the, the child she was claiming that uh, she's the biological parent is not our own biologically born child. And they asked the child, when they showed the picture to, is it your child? They said, no, it's my auntie. It's not my, my mother. So that was it. She was disqualified. Likewise, Mr. Douglas Dano, who wanted to go for a treasurer as well. Comrade. Yes. Mm -hmm. We're trying to focus on what happened concerning the allegations yeah. of the financial misappropriation she, she yes, alleged. Yes, I will get there, please. I okay. need to illustrate the genesis so that okay, I know sir. where we are coming from. Okay, oh, sir. Okay. So after the election, we started working. We, the grand runners, as they normally say, because there are so many gaps to be filled. They are assisting the school. We did uh, electrical repairs and many other things there that uh, to make our children comfortable. That is our essence of being there anyway. And before we knew it, we got a letter from the Federal Ministry of Education that some parents, especially two of them, who were disqualified from contesting, the petition against the election that we had, then unjust disqualification of their candidacy. And the PTA, sorry, the Federal Ministry of Education now wrote to us eventually that uh, they didn't see anything wrong in the election that was conducted because there are guidelines that were followed and their representatives were there. Three directors actually came from the Federal Ministry of Education. That's what they do. When uh, university colleges are having an election, they came, they corrected the election anyway, and they informed them via letter. I came with copies of that letter that they gave to us that there's nothing wrong there, that their petition. There is no merit there. And we thought everything has finished. Yeah, we went to contest for an election, and uh, God made it in a situation where we couldn't. I think you should let life go on. But unfortunately, it wasn't like that. Yeah, we had a PTA um, meeting, annual general meeting. I think um, we had it in uh, July or thereabout before we go for third term. That was in uh, 2022. But the financial year was running then from June to May. So we had it in July before they went for long vacation. And that was what happened. After the, the thing was done, after the AGM was done, of course, she and a few of our, our courts, they are trying to prevent the AGM report, financial report, from being passed. But parents stood against them that what is all these things? Questions have been asked, they have explained to you, and they passed it anyway, like she rightly admitted. And so that was sir, it. Please, I'd like you to help us confirm. When they raised the questions of misappropriation of funds or just asking how the funds were spent, yes. was there a proper explanation to what was done with the money? Of first course. Of, all? of course. We made an mm -hmm. explanation. What they wanted was that we should be putting everything after the AGM that the account has been passed, approved. They now went to the platform. But we have a platform to get feedback from parents what is happening to their children and whatever they think. We get feedback every now and then. They said we should post it on the platform. We said, no, the PTA is not wrong on social media. There's a circular from the Federal Ministry of Education that the school should not be run on social media. Nobody should even take the school to any of the social media, either newspaper or TV houses, without going through the gamut of the procedures when you have uh, reservations. The guideline is very clear. When you have reservations, you are free, right? to the chairman to explain some things to you. If he refuses, go to the principal. The principal will call the parties to try and see what has been happening. And if you are not satisfied, you insist that you want it to be sent. You write a letter to the federal ministry. And the principal is obliged to pass your petition to the federal ministry of education. <laughs> and let me ask it. a question, sir. Yes, please. So um, if this is now done, does it mean the platform, I believe that's a WhatsApp platform? Yes, no, it's a Telegram. We change it to okay, Telegram because of a... many students, yes. Okay, yes, good. So does it mean that, you know, there are punitive measures against the parents who comes on that platform to ask such questions such that they will be removed? They were never removed. They were mooted. When it became persistent, they were trying to disparage the school and the PTA. <laughs> So they were okay. muted. They are seeing postings. Comrade, follow up question quickly, sir. Yes, ma'am. Please confirm yeah, yeah. the students that you know were suspended pending the EFCC investigation. Yes. I'm, uh, are they also part of the parents' meeting? No, they the, were not. They were they are not. Students whose school fees have been paid. Yeah. So why uh, well, the suspension, sir? No. Um, they've not paid school fees this time. The suspension started this time, as I'm aware. 
And I, I can't even comment much on it because I'm not the, I don't run the school. I'm not the school management. I came here basically to just put a stop to the lies being peddled all over the world. You understand? Just to trade the genesis so that people of discerning minds, they can make up their mind on what is happening. And but be an comrade, activist. Comrade, comrade yes. is were you aware of the suspension of these students? Children, yes. Mm. Yeah, when, she, when this came, I saw it on TVC News. So how did you step in? Because your job as a P PTA, a Parents German. Teachers Association, mm. is to first of all protect the children in the school, the students in the school, and also yeah. give aid to the school. So how did you step in when you heard of course. that students who were innocent of whatever happened within the group were suspended? I stepped in. Okay. I, saw, I saw the past principal, what really happened, and she showed me a circular. There was a circular from the ministry that if you take the school or the PTA or any subsidiary of the school to the court, or you make it impossible for them to function optimally in their offices without passing through the processes like I highlighted earlier, of course, you are going to be sanctioned about that. So I was aware that happened to them. And uh, all effort to make our series has failed, and we left it. Mm -hmm. Let the FCC take its course. Let's see what happens. And uh, so, okay. while are you, may I ask, please, may I ask, um, are you also um, th this punitive measure? Does it also affect the child who is unable to access um, results so that they can even move to another school? Um, I'm not aware of that. Or she's saying that now. But all said and done. Like I told you, there were procedures that were not followed. Okay, let me pause you for a second because I'd like you to respond to what he said so far. Mm -hmm. I have two more parents who are willing to talk, so I'll bring them in in a minute. But let me get your own response to what he said so far before we bring in the other parents. Yeah, um, for what he has said so far, <coughs> the election we have not, is that a reason why everybody has a badge for a position? Yes. And if you are hurt, you are hurt. Okay. So it's not a matter of, um, we have moved on. We have moved on. So why is this still bringing the issue of election to every matter we discuss? Is that the reason why the money was embezzled? That's the question. Mm -hmm. Why we, we, if you keep talking about election, that's a done deal. It's done. Mm -hmm. I never contested. None of us ever contested that we were screwed out fine, no problem. But that does not mean for all the allegations that I went to even stole a child or something like that. It's my niece. <laughs> And I have evidence for that. So it's just a story they keep, kept bringing up. And like, That's even a done issue. I'm saying even our business. if after elections have happened and ended, there's a notice of any financial misappropriation, yes. so that's wrong it. to question it. So we, we, that's what so we Let me ask you a question. Yeah. Was there an official response from the PTA to those, those allegations that of this financial misappropriation? They never or, gave any response. What, 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 okay, what was the response they gave, at least to give you? What, what exactly was well said? Because he's, he's saying that they explained to you already. They didn't explain anything because we were like, okay, like the salary now, when we had, yes. they we claimed there were no increase in staffs. They didn't they recruit any staff that year. So the question was, how come we have this? Can we have the staff list? Can we have all that? Which was never provided. He said you didn't write a formal letter. He said that the, fo the uh, platform where the questions were raised is not the official one. That he wanted a letter. So did they, it, it did they, you later write a letter? That we were the not letter supposed to write. You know, at the AGM, you ask questions when you see a financial report. Yes. You pick up all the figures, the discrepancies, for clarity. Raise it. Yes, for clarity. That is why we are supposed to not to even write any letter to that effect. But while we were asking that question, they kept saying they, they've given us a figure. That you and you should take the figure and move. And yes. You were muted. We were not yeah. muted, we were removed. And uh, funny enough, they even deleted all the questions we raised. Okay. Even the last minutes of meeting that was supposed to even show that the, uh, the events of that day, they removed everything, <laughs> not just mine, everybody. Because when they read the, the next uh, PTA meeting, when they were reading out the minutes of meeting, there was nothing like okay. I think we discussed the financial report. So, <laughs> could you just help confirm if there are other official conversations that happened on that telegram group before this no, no, you guys discussed official, discuss official matters official matters on the group yeah. were questions it, being okay asked ask? we mm. were just asking questions on all no, this no no, no yeah. before this issue so before, okay, before this, this issue mm. what would you use the telegram group for no the telegram group is for um children's welfare 
any question we have concerning anything we don't understand, okay. instead of driving down to school. But most parents are not in Lagos. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that platform is meant for us to discuss, to okay. get information. Get information mm -hmm. And the school representative plus the PTA get back to us through that platform. So it's that not is not uncommon for parents to no. raise issues. No, 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 no. But let me go on a short break. When set. I come back, we're going to bring in another parent to join the conversation. Stay with us, we'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back.